Running a cattle station in the Australian outback isn't easy. In Western Australia's Pilbara region, an average pastoral lease covers 200,000 hectares. One of the biggest challenges is managing livestock over vast areas. If they want to leave, they can leave. Now Hammersley Station, managed by Rio Tinto, has teamed up with scientists from UWA to trial a new high-tech solution, virtual fences. You don't have to install fences, you don't have to maintain fences, you don't have to grade your fences, everything that goes with it. Invisible fence lines drawn up on a computer are sent to radio towers. Here we go. And then transmit to GPS radio collars on the cattle, which alarm when the animal approaches the fence. There we go. So we've hit the boundary. An electric impulse is activated if it crosses over. Watching the animals respond from it in a herd mentality where one animal would get the sound and turn and move off the sound and all the other ones would hear the sound from that animal and go, oh, that's where the fence is and move off of it. So, yeah, it's been really exciting. Hammersley Station is also an iron ore mine. Fences are vital for keeping cattle safe. Long term, the aim is to prevent cattle accessing Rio Tinto infrastructure, railway lines, etc. With the GPS collar, staff can also monitor animal movement. See where they are, see what they're doing, see how they're moving, see how your bulls are interacting with your breeder cows, if they're working, if they're not. Um, yeah, the potential is quite endless. The trial has required animal ethics and welfare approval. I do believe that if the collars can deliver as we expect, it could, it, do, it does have the potential to change the industry. If the trial is successful, it's hoped that the collars will be made available for commercial use in WA. James Liveris, ABC News, Hammersley Station.